it's hard to beat a team like the Astros unless you play a clean, crisp game, and that was not the case today, David. No, it wasn't. It really all the way around. Some defense, some base running lapses, some relay uh, problems at the end of the game, and then, of course, pitching. Too many walks from the bullpen once and again that came back to haunt them. You would have thought the Yankees had a lead in both of these games. Their bullpen was lined up, and the bullpen really failed them, and that's a strength of this team. That's not something you expect, and even going forward, I don't think we're going to see that in the future, but it really burned them in these two games. And it's a tough game for a guy like Clint Frazier, who's had two great games, and uh, he struggled a little bit in the outfield. And I want to emphasize, Paul, and I think you would agree, they were not easy plays, but there are plays that he probably thinks he should have made. Probably. I mean, uh, if you're an outfielder and you're going through a great time offensively, you, you feel like you can do everything out there. He got good breaks on the ball. He put himself in a position to catch them. They weren't caught. Those ball, you know, those runners both scored. Uh, you know, it, it's funny. When you play a game is, you know, kind of unclean, as we call it, as they did tonight, you usually get blown out and you just close the book on it. They had an opportunity to win both of these games. That's what really haunts them. And what's a little unusual in this one as well, um, Austin Romine is supposed to be the defensive catcher of the two, and Gary's in there to hit home runs. But he does a pretty good job defensively as well. Austin Romine really struggled behind the plate today. Well, he did. You know, there were some balls that he will tell you after the game that he should have had, and, and they contributed to this loss as well. Jonathan Loisega certainly had a couple of catchable pitches there that, that kind of extended his outing and got him out of the game uh, a little too quickly. And then late in the game, another big pass ball uh, on a strikeout that, that allowed a base, that, that allowed Bregman to get on base. So... Certainly all the way around. I mean, uh, Meredith Morakovic has got, got a good job to do because you can go a number of different directions. But I guarantee you, Aaron Boone and Larry Rothschild got some gray hairs from watching that tonight. And I'm wondering, Paul, a uh, team plays a game like that, does a manager air them out, or do they know they made mistakes? Uh, you know, everybody knows it's a pretty professional team that they made mistakes. But, uh, you know, Aaron Boone will not be happy with the, the performance tonight because it, not because they lost, because of the way they lost and not catching the ball and not looking like, you know, they, they were into the game. But, uh, again, the, the, the thing is, you come in, you play the Astros, you have an opportunity to win two games late in the game, and you lose them both. Then you look back at the mistakes, and that's what really hurts. Well, the Yankees can salvage the final game of the series, and they'll send James Paxton out tomorrow night. What have you seen from Paxton so far? Well, I think really one really good one and one he kind of struggled, and you can almost tell his approach. The first one, you know, he was ahead 0-1, 0-2 the whole game. And the second game, his second start, he kind of reversed that trend a little bit and had trouble finding the strike zone early and kind of got chased out of the zone. I like what I've seen so far from him. He's going to be a good starter. I think Tanaka pitching so well as the opener, kind of the number one right now, takes pressure off of him. But the Yankees really need him to be a frontline starter at this point. Uh, you know, I, I think you can count on him. But you certainly want to see more and see him get established and have some success so that you know going forward he's got his, he's got his confidence going.